Okay, one of the things I wanted to do when I started this series was to um, set up a computer with you. And um, I've gotten to the point where I have to, I feel like I have to install something that I normally use. And I recommend that you use it as well. It's called Quicksilver. Um, once you get used to using a Mac, you'll probably find that you want things to happen really, really fast. Like, from a Windows perspective, unreasonably fast. But in almost all cases, the Mac can get it done. Um, and what Quicksilver is, the way I use it, is an application launcher, but it does a lot of other things um, as well. I just use it to uh, get stuff open most of the time. Now, uh, download it and install it, and you can go through it, and I'll show you what, how I would recommend uh, customizing it, but just to give you an idea of what it does, the stuff down on the dock here is everything that I have on the dock pretty much is, is, has a little dot next to it underneath it. That means it's running. I pretty much have everything running um, on the dock. I don't leave things there that aren't running because I don't want them to take up space. So the reason why I don't miss the you know, having it right there to click on, it, well, there's a number of ways um, to do things. For example, using dragging the um, stack, making the applications folder into a stack to get to it this way. But as you can see, I have a little too many applications inside of too many folders to make to have that be really um, a great option. For me, the other way of doing it, of course, is using Spotlight to launch the application. Command space is the um, thing, and then you just type something, and then, you know, get to the top, hit, and then you press enter. That's a pretty quick way, too, but the fastest way is Quicksilver. If I wanted to say launch mail, I just press M, and then there it goes, and then you can see it bounce up. There it is. There's mail. Uh, that's about as fast as it gets. Uh, Quicksilver is about as fast as it gets, and I've really gotten used to it. So I wanted to install it. And when, I, when you install it on your computer, and I highly recommend you do it, it's free. What you what I would do is I would go to it. In the pre, I would go to pre, Quicksilver. I go to Preferences. Initially, it'll it'll install a guy down here. Now, I don't think you want that. Show icon and dock. Have that unchecked. So when you go into Preferences, this is the main the main. Uh, the main window, the application window, start at login. I would recommend doing that. Um, enable advanced features. Sure, why not? We'll relaunch later. Um, show icon and dock. Don't have that checked. Once I relaunch, mine will go away. Um, I would, the appearance, definitely change the appearance. I'll show you what this looks like. That is pretty cool looking as far as I'm concerned. But, this the one that it shows up as is not very cool looking. So I would change the com the command interface to bezel. Bezels are glass, bezels have shadows, sure why not. Looks about the same anyway. Um, command button, this is where I change the, um, you can change the hotkey activation. Right now I'm using alt, um, option space. You can use something else if you like. For me, that makes sense because I use command, command space for spotlight, option space for um, quicksilver. So you have, you know, I can use my left hand to get it all done with just a couple fingers. It's pretty convenient. So if you wanted to change it, you just click here and then press the ones you want, and there you go. Uh, and that is about it for th this uh, this screen catalogs and plugins I mean you can play around in here and install stuff if you want I mean, this thing actually does a lot of stuff like here I use the basic what I use it for when, like say if I want um, if I want to launch word right now I have to press W O to get to it eventually it'll learn that I want um, word when I press W and if I press enter right now it'll open it but if I move the if I, if I go over here and click over here there's actually a whole bunch of other stuff that you can do I when I first got it, I looked at this stuff briefly, but you know, it seemed to be too much work to me to uh, get all this, get more things going. It can do Apple, it can do all sorts of things. If you look into it, you could probably, you know, if you get into it, you could probably find a lot of stuff. You probably get a lot of um, more functionality out of it. But I'm not going to do that. I just use it to get stuff open really quick, like Safari. You know, there it is. Really quickly. So um, I'll, you'll see me use it. Um, Quicksilver, and I'll try to explain it when I do, but I think you should probably go pick it up, and it's called Act Without Doing, which is probably perfect for this series. It fits in very well.